living like child what's going on it is your girl crystal the raw spiritual guru coming through and welcome to my channel please make sure you do me a favor and like share and subscribe and join this tribe y'all so welcome so today i'm going to be talking about dreams and how it's important for you to keep track of your dreams so <clears throat> if you don't know i did start um a dream series and i haven't been posting lately but that don't mean necessarily that i have not been having dreams so i do usually dream almost every night um you know sometimes the dreams can be a bit overwhelming when they do come in so much um but i've just learned to try to remember as much as i can and with me remembering it either write it down or do a voice recording of my dreams so I have lots of dreams and some of these dreams do play out as a movie where others of them is fragments of like different um, stages. Um, with dreams, dreams could be messengers from past lives. They could be messengers from your soul, from the multiverse, from other dimensions because we travel in our sleep. So if you are having dreams, it's important for you to start writing them down to keep a record of your dreams because they might actually be prophetic dreams as well. I've had a couple different dreams about like destruction of cities of the world. Um, I thought I had put one dream up. I'll put it up soon about like what I think what might be coming to like the different northeast west south of the world um but like i've had plenty different dreams of like worldly events or like you know things that might happen to us so you know i'll put those dreams up usually i usually put up story dreams like it has to just play like a story or a movie but now I'm like, okay, if I get the message, I'm just going to put it up. And if you receive it, you receive it, right? But it's going to be important for you to not run away from these messages. But if you feel compelled to share them, to share them. I'm going to share one dream that I had with you. And this is why I wanted to come through because I'm getting this very strong energy that you need to protect yourself at this time. You need to protect yourself, protect your energy. It's going to be very important for you to do that. From now and on, you have to pray for peace as well. It's very strong energy in this world and it's a lot of chaotic energy and it's rubbing off on people. Also, watch what you consume. Watch what you are taking in. And that is food. That is your atmosphere. That's movies, TV, what you're watching, what you're visual, what you're listening to, what your ears. Watch what you are taking in because that all play a factor as well. But... One of the dreams that I had that I'm going to share with you today, it was about humanoid birds, okay? So, uh, birds are usually messengers. I see birds every day, often, often, especially hawks. So, the hawks tend to, like, be my, my spirit animal, hawks and eagles, but I see hawks all the time. But um, I see crows all the time, too. But birds are messengers. Birds usually have, like, uh, this distinguished between the world so they could communicate with spirit world and physical world right um and crows sometimes do get like a, a weird rep i had a strange incident that happened to me i'll talk about it another time but um it was involving like uh a crow but anyway so i had this dream and this don't have nothing to do with the incident but i had this dream about humanoid birds so in this dream i'm walking down the street and you know how sometimes you got people that's like taking up the sidewalk so i'm trying to walk past them and i bumped the girl so the girl wanted to have a problem because i bumped her and i said look sis i didn't do that on purpose but whatever so she wanted to try to fight so she wanted to take off her heels to try to fight so i said okay well whatever you want to do so um so she started taking off her heels. Y'all know I be half distracted. My apologies. So she starts taking off her heels and my focus go to these birds. So I see these crows starting to line up on this fence near the power plant. So it was a lot of them too. They start flocking in. So then I seen them starting to grow. So I'm looking and I'm like, 
girl, I'm not fighting you, girl. So she was like, oh, you a punk, you a punk. I said, you could call me whatever you need to call me, but hold on. My bad, y'all. I'm like, you could call me whatever you need to call me, but you don't see what I see. You need to turn around. So I told her to look at the fence and see the birds growing. So then she was like, oh. So I was like, yeah, girl, you could do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do. So I'm going to do what I need to do. <laughs> and I'm leaving. And I was near my people house, right? So with me being near my people house, I, um, <clears throat> I started to go in. But when I turned around, I seen one of the birds flying to the girls. So when I get in and I look out the window, them girls was gone. So then... I'm just watching these birds activity over the next couple of days. So they start lining up in front of each and everybody house. Like they were watching the houses. So as they're watching the houses, um, as they're watching the houses, if you came out, they attack you and the gang attack you. So when the gang attack you, they will grow more human like. So, these birds were becoming humanoid after they took your life force energy and they you know unalive you they'll basically take your energy like your soul is mine type of energy right so um so i seen that and i was like oh no y'all we can't go outside because some birds is attacking people and taking their energy so um then the dream ended. So what I got from that is like, be careful what you say that on my soul phrase that they like got made popular now. Don't say nothing about on your soul because it could technically be on your soul. It is strong energies out here that might be coming after you or might be in your space. So you need to be very discerning at this time. It's going to be very important for you to be discerning because it might be one or it might be a group of energies energies people places entities that can come for you so you could have someone that is excuse me you could have someone that is trying to come after you and then trying to recruit people as well you could have just someone that is just truly angry envious and jealous and hateful towards you right and even with that energy that is the energy in itself and that's a very consuming energy and that could lower your energy and weaken your energetic field so it's going to be very important for you for from now until whenever just get in the habit of praying for protection ask your source ask the most high for protection use protection phrases like no weapon formed against me shall prosper or return to sender any energies that's trying to attack me return to sender like just start to incorporate protection phrases or using protection phrases i'm just getting like a lot of wickedness going on like you might have some type of destructions that might be going on could be like if you drive be careful on the road because a lot of people isn't following road rules so they might be coming one way when they shouldn't be and they can get into an accident so be careful for accidents heightened accidents might be happening as well things might be trying to attack you to get your life force energy okay so it's going to be important for you to protect yourself also to ask for peace right now you can ask for peace for the world i personally do that i ask for peace for the world but if you feel like you're overwhelmed and you need peace in your life, you can ask for peace for yourself. So it's going to be important for you to pray for peace right now. Ask for peace. Try to be in the energy of peace. But try to basically, and, and I don't like to say try anymore. It's either do or don't. So do your best to pray for peace, ask for peace, and live in peace. Because... The energy that you consume is the energy that will consume you. So it's going to be important for you to live in a certain type of energy if you don't want to attract chaotic and ill energies towards you. So that's the message that I got for you. I'm going to come back with another dream time, but ultimately protect your energy and pray for peace was the message of this video. Peace, love, and light. Follow.